Hello, good evening. My name is Payal and uh, I am an in PhD student at Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about how to prepare for the research interviews, like for the MSc interview or the in PhD interview or the PhD interview. So in this video, I'll be briefly discussing about some of the important key points which are to be kept in mind if you want to ace in such interviews. Uh, what are the things which we have to work on? I'll be briefly discussing about all those things. So my brief introduction, I'm currently an in PhD student and I had uh, cracked IIT exam, GAT P, GATE PT, Jezebels or JNC SAR test. I have an inter uh, insightful interview experiences at ISC, MSc and uh, in PhD, both interviews and uh, in PhD interview at Tipper Bombay and uh, Tipper Hyderabad. Uh, I have also given the interview at uh, JNCSR Bangalore and ISAP Pune. So what the interviewer is expecting from the interviewee in the interview. So they expect you that you must have the strong understanding of the basics of the subject as for the biology if you are giving biology interview uh, if, if i am i just uh, shortlist it like for biochemistry so they assume that you must have the basic understanding of the biochemistry subject and they expect you to have strong research aptitude also the basic understanding of the related concepts like if you are applying a tool or a technique to prove something why you are applying this you must have the understanding you must be able to uh, justify that why you are using this particular tool or this particular technique and they'll judge you uh, based on the creativity of your experiment but which you have designed and what are the alternate approach that you suggest for uh, proving the same thing? And they'll judge you based on your ability to justify the approach you are using. When you will explain some thing, like some experiment to them, they'll question about the same thing. And you must be able to answer those questions. So let's talk about how to build the strong basics of the subject. Uh, first of all, work on brushing your basics of overall all subjects like biochemistry, molecular biology, genetics, techniques, recombinant DNA technology. All these things you must be like have at least a basic understanding of these subjects. You have cracked the exam that's why you are being shortlisted for the interview so of course you have made the notes so I'll just revise those notes to have the basic understanding of the concepts also choose your most comfortable subject the subject which moves you the most which you find most interesting and start reading in depth about that particular subject from a standard book like Leninger or Bruce Alberts or iGenetics or whatever subject you like and know how these concepts were discovered how it has been proved in the lab and what are the underlying methods they have used to prove those things just have a basic understanding and idea of the things so uh, the second thing is you have to work on your uh, research aptitude, how to make it strong. So learn various techniques, like, and how these techniques work. For example, chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, size exclusion chromatography, how affinity chromatography, how these chromatographies do work, why they are used for, what are, what are the basic underlying principle for these techniques which molecules you can separate using the particular chromatography, how electrophoresis works, 
how EMSA works. All these things you must have a clear understanding of how these tools and techniques do work. And uh, for these techniques, you can follow a brief basic book like Pathfinder Techniques book and learn how to apply the knowledge in Z to A approach. Meaning, like if they ask you uh, to check, like if you want to check DNA protein interaction, which technique will you apply? So, how to check the DNA protein interaction? Of course, by EMSA. How protein protein interaction is checked using FRET. So, you must be able to apply the things from Z to A approach. Know how to prove a concept using techniques. Like, if you have to uh, prove that these protein A and B are uh, uh, interacting. So, uh, how you will how you will prove? FRET. By using FRET, you will be able to explain how you will do tagging and all those things. So, they will also judge you based upon your creativity of the experimental design. So, how to develop these skills? Have a good understanding of the techniques, how they are applied to prove a real phenomena. Uh, it, it will be better for you if you will make some tables like for uh, RNA identification, these, these techniques like another blot and microarray both can be used. So, uh, if when they will ask you about the alternate approaches, you will be able to tell. And uh, like make the table like uh, DNA, DNA interactions, which techniques you will be used. DNA protein interaction, which technique you will use. Like if how to prove that a particular protein is acting as a transcription factor, how will you prove it? So like chip assay is there how you will study that your DNA is methylated. All these things like you you have must you must have a clear understanding. Uh, practice some more questions for the interview. It will help you to ace in the interview. And you must be able to justify your, your approach, like why you are applying this particular technique. So for this, you must have a clear idea when this technique will work and what are its limitations for, the, for uh, finding the structure of a protein, which technique you will use, how you will use, like, and if you will use NMR or uh, you will use uh, cryo-EM or you will use X-ray crystallography, which technique you will use and when you will use this, you must have a, a clear understanding of the various techniques available and what are its limitations. And the choice of technique will always based on the objective of the experiment. So these things you have to work on. And also you must be able to understand that when a, in which scenario a particular technique will be preferred over the another. Like if you want high resolution structures, will you use X-ray crystallography or you will use cryo -EM? So here are some other bonus tips, like learn the communication skills. It will be needed in the interview and you must have a good command over the language. Make short notes of whatever techniques you study and revise frequently because uh, when you will make short notes, it will take less time for you to revise again and again because of, of course, there are so many techniques available and when you will uh, learn those techniques, it is more likely that you will be forgetting those techniques when you reach other techniques. So better to make short notes and revise frequently. Uh, so learn basic math, lab mathematics, how buffers are made, how solutions are made, and their related calculations. How you'll make working solutions from the stock. So all those things. Uh, learn some basic idea of the hypothesis testing, what is null hypothesis, is alternate hypothesis, how to prove and disprove, all those things. So finally, be positive because you reach so far, eventually things will be best. Because if you have reached so far to be entered in the like shortlisted for the interview, so you must have a caliber, you can ace the interview and you will get a seat finally. So be confident and take action to be skillful rather than anticipating the worst things in your mind. 
So wishing you luck for a great career ahead. Thank you.